The Cardinal Sheehan Center in Bridgeport has long been a factory for great local basketball. However, no local legend has had more success in the game than Chris Smith. A star player at Colby Cathedral High School in the 1980s, Smith went on to help set the foundation for the rise to prominence of UConn basketball. He turned down bigger college basketball powerhouses to play in his home state, helping lead the Huskies to their first Big East championship and an Elite Eight run in the dream season of 1990, helping put the program on the map. I'm from Connecticut. This is my family. This is my home. And my whole family's here. So for them to go out and see me play an hour away from where we all grew up, which is Bridgeport, was, was great for me. Uh, but it was something about Jim Calhoun and the Connecticut family that lured me into staying home. Uh, staying home was very important for me, not only for my, you know, my family and myself, but also for Kobe Cathedral fans too. Now, after a career that took him all the way to the NBA, Chris Smith has returned to the home that is so important to him, Bridgeport and the Sheehan Center, as the head coach for the program that led him to all that success, his alma mater, Colby Cathedral. I was pretty much raised in this building here, and to come back to uh, the Sheen Center is very special to me because it, this is a place where I grew up, and this is where I honed my skills, and I could tell kids, look, this is where I played basketball, and I went all the way to the top, so there's no reason why you cannot dream and do the same thing. Still UConn's all-time scoring leader, Smith brings experience, knowledge, and star power back to his neighborhood earning him respect among the players who dream of going to the next level, like senior star Ian Gardner. I play with Coach Smith. He's a really good coach. He does what he's doing. He, he went here and, like, it inspires me because he went here and he was in the same footsteps as me. He went to Kobe, played at UConn, went to the NBA. So, like, I just like, I like the connections he had. And, like, I felt like he was in my footsteps. So, like, if he could do it, I could do the same thing as him. You know, we have some great kids on our team. They're very, they're very educated. They love the game. And, and that's the great thing about coaching at Kobe. But sometimes you want to put the shorts on and get out there and do the things that you did a long time ago. And you got to realize that you can't do that. You know, you're coaching now. And uh, trying to relay that speech over to the kids sometimes can be difficult. But uh, it's, a, it's a great challenge. It's a challenge that I accept. And uh, it's a fun challenge. Now he always talks about his past, just like that's like to kind of motivate us to like keep working and getting better because we're not at that stage yet. So like if we ever want to get there, he talks to us and got us on the way to get there. And the way Chris Smith got there was putting an importance in family, one he now is the head of for the players he is helping guide in the same positive path he went. Family's a huge thing. Uh, you know, our theme is uh, work hard and be nice. And uh, we try to set that tone every day in practice and every day when you come into the school. As a coach who understands his players in a way only someone who stood in their shoes could, the positive messages Chris Smith shares with players like Ian are clearly resonating. I just want to play college basketball, that's it. That makes me extremely proud. And uh, one thing about Kobe Cathedral, all the kids pretty much, we have a 90 plus rate of all the kids that go to Kobe, they go to college, and that's very important to us because uh, that's the standards that we want to set at Kobe Cathedral.